Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Zarnick. I hope you're all doing well. I just have a few things to tell you about our Bandcamp packet. Um, for people that aren't going into ninth grade, you've heard this before from me, but it's always good to go over uh, the paperwork that's associated with Bandcamp and high school bands. So uh, this should only take a few minutes this year. And if you have any more questions, you can email me or our boosters. The first thing that you're going to look at when you open up your camp packet online now is our cover letter. And it's going to tell you a few things. First, camp is scheduled for August 3rd through 7th at the high school. And this is from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Friday. On Friday, though, I'm going to cut the day short. After dinner time, we're going to play a 6 o'clock performance for the parents. And then students will be dismissed immediately afterward. Um, usually I'd have some summertime practices for marching band, but because of the government and uh, school shutdown, um, I won't be able to hold those, or at least it looks like I won't be able to. So we might start off with camp, and that's okay. Uh, the week of camp is mandatory for all students. Um, those with a sport conflict or a summer school conflict should contact me, but any other uh, conflict or scheduled vacation um, we, we really can't have students missing this week. It's essentially the, the start of our first unit of the fall semester, and everyone is uh, needed to make us successful. The cost for camp is $140, and we use that to help offset feeding the students during camp, um, and it also helps uh, purchase camp supplies, service your marching uniforms, and uh, pay our instructors. I bring in a few extra helpers for the week, and um, it really helps the whole week move more smoothly than if it were just me running the show all day. Um, at the bottom of this letter, it says how you can send back the forms that we need to send back in payment. Um, notice the place to send your forms to is 6 Brown Street, Crosswell, Michigan, 48422. This is the booster address, and this is because I'm not able to really access the high school to get mail. Um, and the boosters process our paperwork. So they will um, they will be processing it from their house. And yes, they have uh, signed some non-disclosure paperwork, so your information is safe with them. Okay, there are two kinds of forms that you would have for Bandcamp if we were to give it to you in a hard copy. First would be a set that you would keep at home. There's one for camp info, uh, payment agreement coupons, uh, the dress code, which is essentially our school dress code calendar which we haven't finalized yet and then our, our weekly daily camp schedule those are in this packet you're getting in your email there are things that you'll need to send back though and we're going to talk through those the first one is your medical information form it's imperative that you send this medical form back to us either as a scan or in a hard copy in the mail um, because if you get sick or hurt at camp this is our, our way of being able to help you the most best method that we can and very quickly so this medical form must be filled out, and um, we would appreciate it if you sent it with your first payment to, to bank camp. We don't want to be asking you for this on the first day of camp. Um, if we don't have this on file for you on the first day of camp, we will not let you get on the field to march. It is so important that we have this camp uh, med form turned in. Uh, the next form that you're going to need to send back to us is a um, checked and initialed student code of conduct, and this is um, kind of our contract between you and the, uh, the parents and the students and myself that um, you agree to follow some of the rules we have set forth for band camp in the high school program. It's kind of a rigorous uh, high school band experience, and um, knowing what is expected of the student as far as appropriate behavior is, is very important. So uh, this code of conduct will need to be initialed by the student and signed at the bottom and sent back in. Just as important as the student code of conduct is the parent uh, commitment agreement, which essentially is uh, you agreeing that you're going to help support your student and myself uh, create a positive band atmosphere for the school year. Um, many of these uh, commitment rules that we have put down have been lifted out of our sports uh, code of conduct, especially some of the italicized things. Um, so as parents, it's also important that you send your commitment agreement with your band camp payments uh, in as well, um, because we need to know that you are also on board with your student and with me uh, for the school year. Okay, and the athletics fine arts agreements is on the second part of this page. So please sign and date that at the bottom as well. 
The next form that uh, we have that you need to sign and submit is um, a payment agreement. That's going to help us guarantee that uh, you are committed to helping pay your child's uh, bank camp fees as best as you can. Uh, I know that times are difficult right now, and if that camp fee is a little high to be um, able to pay by our August start date, um, the best thing you can do is email our boosters at prideofthepioneers at gmail.com, and uh, we can work out um, a way that can best help you um, make maybe smaller payments, um, but can still help your child go to camp. I'd hate to see um, a student in the fall come to me and say, well, we couldn't pay for camp. Um, there's a way that we can help you with this. If you have fundraiser money uh, banked up as well, that's a good way to help pay for camp if you don't have any other plans for it. So um, uh, there's always a way to help uh, pay for camp. Um, if you are sending payment for camp, um, we prefer that you send a check to our band boosters, and you need to make it up to this entity, POTP, Pride of the Pioneers. That is our booster entity's official name, and that is um, what we send things to, to our bank account with now. You can pay the full price of camp now, if you'd like, in one check, but um, we also have it broken up into payments as well. And uh, you can choose whichever is fine, or if you choose to make one payment and pay the rest all at once the next time you uh, cut a check, that's just fine too. The second page of this, uh, we made payment coupons, kind of like when you're sending in a car payment or an uh, instrument rental payment. You can cut those out and mail those straight into the boosters at 6 Brown Street and those will get processed for your child. The next form that we would like you to send back in, uh, and even if you did this last year, we need you to do it again, is our band volunteer information form. This is for parents and um, of age adults that can help us with the camp experience and essentially any band event in the fall and winter semesters for the students. So there's a checklist of things that you can tell us you're uh, interested in assisting with. And then, um, there is some contact info that our boosters will need on the bottom so that we can contact you about helping at camp. Usually we schedule parents for blocks of time during the band camp day, and then we'll call you uh, in the fall to be maybe a bus chaperone or to help with meals at uh, band games. So um, we really need a lot of volunteers to help the camp experience go. This isn't the only thing that you need to do. Um, Yes, we know that you want to help us, but you also need to fill out the official volunteer information form found at this link right here. And if we just click on it, it's going to take us to the school district website and prompt a download to our official uh, school district volunteer form. This needs to be filled out, and then um, it's, it's easier if you print it off and fill it out and then scan it back to us um, at the booster email, prideofthepioneers at gmail.com, or myself, and then we'll forward that to um, Bridget Franzel, who is um, responsible for processing volunteer information forms. This form must be on file for you to help us at camp. We will not take a volunteer if you do not have a cleared volunteer information form uh, on file with the school district, and it is for the safety of our students. So please, if you're going to help us, um, we needed to fill out this form and then the uh, band volunteer form. The next form that we'll need you to fill out as well, and this is just as important as your medical form um, that you're going to send into the boosters, is an official MSHAA uh, high school physical form. Um, if you're an athlete that does a fall sport, you're going to need to do one of these anyway for your fall sport. And if you have already, if you already have done one for the fall sports and have sent that into the athletic director. Um, let us know, and we will confirm that with him. But everyone in the marching band is required to do a physical form, and this helps us um, guarantee that you're healthy enough to be um, doing the strenuous activity of marching band on the field. And if you um, do not pass this physical form, that does not mean that you cannot participate in the marching band. It just means that we're going to have to figure out an alternative uh, method of your participation, and we've done it before. Um, so this must be completed by yourself and a doctor. And usually your uh, general practitioner that you visit can do one of these. Sometimes our district hosts a physical day, um, but we haven't received word of those because the buildings are shut down. So this will need to be on file with you the first day of camp if you can't send it to us any sooner. Finally, the last form that you will need to turn in is a marching band shoe order form. 
if you are a returning marching band member, um, you have marching band shoes that probably fit you, so you really won't need to order any. But if you're a new student, um, you will need to be sized and purchase your own set of marching band shoes. And there's two different kinds that we order. One is called the Speedster, the other is the Drill Master. Um, the Drill Master costs about $10 more, but has, is a bit more comfortable for the student. Um, and this is on top of the band camp fee. If you're unable to uh, spend this money on the sh those shoes, we do have some lightly used shoes that um, are available for purchase, and we'll be sizing um, students for these shoes at camp. So you don't need to write your shoe size down on these. However, um, if you are a new student or you do intend to buy shoes, we need this form filled out by the first day of camp, as well as your t-shirt size, because we issue um, t-shirts to new and returning members. Um, and at camp, we will be sizing you for um, these shoes. They are a bit particular, so we do have our uniform chairperson um, check your sizes in person so that we guarantee you get a fitting uh, shoe. If you have any questions about these, or perhaps you have an older sibling that was in the band and they saved their marching band shoes, email me. Essentially, they're black marching band shoes. And if you Google these, um, you'll be able to see what they look like. So if you think you have a pair of those from an old family member, I'm sure they're just fine. But we needed to have either Speedster or Drill Masters for it to work. The rest of the attachments on this email are es essentially just more information about how Bandcamp's going to run. Um, there's a camp information page. Um, usually we would say when there were some pre-camp days, which would be practices to get us ready for how camp would work. However, I haven't been able to schedule those yet. Um, and then there's a uh, common what to bring to camp ideas as far as to make your date most successful. And then just some more info as far as another form that's important to see is our dress code. Um, there's a lot of different dress codes that we have for the band program depending on what time it is. Essentially in rehearsal though, our rehearsal dress code is always school appropriate all the time. Uh, for marching band performances, there's quite a long list of what we need for the dress code. Essentially, it's trying to make us look neat and tidy. Um, and there's some uh, comments about piercings that we need to not have piercings on during performances in case we need to get a medical professional out to help you. Um, violating the dress code uh, during a marching band performance or situation um, will result in some punishments uh, after I speak to Mrs. Burns and Mr. Wood. Uh, the uniform shows off our school pride and uh, we take it seriously when we wear it. Here's kind of a breakdown of what our marching band uniform has. Uh, very important underneath, you're going to get a uniform t-shirt if you're a new member. That must be worn at all times underneath the marching uniform unless otherwise directed by me. We do have a summer uniform which is a polo shirt that the boosters usually give out, uh, hand khaki shorts, and tennis shoes with white socks. Um, we haven't sent these out yet this year and we probably won't be able to use them. However, some people always ask me what do tan or khaki shorts look like. Here's a picture of some of our students marching in them. They're just kind of a, a light brown. And I'm not really too concerned about what color shoes your student is wearing, but make sure that they're wearing white socks. Finally, our concert band uniform, uh, which we wear in the falls for our indoor concerts, is a black dress shirt, dress pants, and black dress shoes, or your marching band shoes if you need them. And we're going to give you a tie or a blue scarf uh, from our boosters. Your shoulders must be covered. Skirts and leggings are not permitted, um, and shoes must be closed toed for this uniform. And I'll go over that a lot more in the fall when we're prepping for our first fall concert. Going along with the uniforms, we do have a uniform uh, policy that um, you need to read up on for um, in-depth information on how uh, we are to treat our marching band uniform especially, and um, just check that out. There's also some notes on um, what to do if your uniform gets dirty, which essentially we're going to clean it, and how to prepare um, best for each performance day. So um, I'm looking forward to starting marching band with you in the summer. And um, should there be need to change our marching band camp date because of some uh, governor or government uh, closure of the schools, you'll be contacted more from myself. But um, uh, Mr. Wood has been asked me to continue moving on with our plans for Bandcamp as normal. So that's what I'm going to do. Stay safe and go Pioneers.